The only guy you know that's, well, I don't know if I want to. Eh. I did a little something to get some of my hair back, you know? What did you do? I went to Istanbul, Turkey. Oh, you, you know, it's huge there. My friend, let me tell you something. They're number <laughs> like, one. Shout out to Istanbul. Shout out to the Turks. You know. They, every corner. Besides making lakum, they've been giving millions of men their hair back. <laughs> but uh, I need to go one more time. I need to go one more really? time. Really? Yeah. They have really interesting ice cream stands in Istanbul. Did you do that? You know, I, I, that whole time I was there, I swear, I had, I didn't, I had like the worst, as far as food culinary, yeah. I had the worst experience because... I don't know if I was just not lucky or I wasn't using technology to my advantage, but I was kind of there for other reasons and not so much the tourism, but I did knock out some tourism. I had a horrible fucking, horrible meals. I didn't have any of the ice cream you're talking about. I, I didn't do it right. I, I, I think maybe I shouldn't judge my experience in Turkey to, I need to go back. Go back. Get more of the hair stuff. I was I blown away that. though by the cultural stuff. It's an old. You've been there? Culture, no. You? No, no. And it was crazy because I went there like the day after a suicide bomb. And I was like, fuck. But I went. Couldn't cancel the trip. Can't. You got to I went to the Sultan's Palace. Freaking amazing. And they have this diamond that's like 76 carats. Right? So it was called the, uh, what is it? The, 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 in the Sultan's Palace. What's the name of that? There's a diamond. Let me see. I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. And to, to copy, I always say it wrong. There's the diamond, uh, the 86 carat diamond. And I saw this in real life. The 86 carat diamond actually came from my people, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it was owned by an Albanian who was executed for rebelling against the empire. And they took his diamond? They took his shit. They jacked his shit and chopped his head off. Or Maybe some that's shit. the reason why he got executed. They were like, "You have an eighty-six carat diamond." If I'm not mistaken, you're it, dead. Yeah, it you was. You shouldn't have such a big diamond. I can't find it. It was the uh, he was like a pasha. So my understanding of the Ottoman Empire, pashas were like basically like governors of certain regions. You had the sultan, and then you had pashas. They, they kind of like ran territories. The Albanians they had they had a nice little run with the Turks. I mean, we were mortal enemies with them. But for a little while, while we were under them, we kind of pulled off some pretty pretty amazing shit, actually. Like, we founded Egypt, the modern country. So if you go to Egypt, the founder of modern-day Egypt, we're not talking about ancient Egypt, and we're talking about the modern country of Egypt, was actually founded by an Albanian, which I found to be... Wow. I, I couldn't believe it. My friend's One of my friends is Egyptian. He told me. Muhammad Ali Jinnah, if you read the history, this guy was straight-up gangster, bro. He invites it to some... The, the Malmuds or something, he invites them in and massacres them, and he's like, fuck, you guys are breaking off the empire, Egypt's a country. We even have our own country. So the Albanians make a joke, we're like, we can't take care of our own country, but we went and founded fucking Egypt, like one of the biggest countries in the world. Yeah, there's one thing, founding a company, founding a country. Is Shout out to level. the Egyptians if you watch them. Yeah, you owe us. Send some baklava over. Uh, Crazy. So whatever. There's like this huge diamond. To my knowledge, it was one of our governors that worked for him. He tried to defect and say fuck you to them. And they said, we're always trying to be gay. Like kill the boss, you know? He lost. They chopped his fucking head. They took the diamonds. 86 carats. Um, they, they give it like a, a story. I think it's called the spoon. The, the spoon catcher or some shit. Let me just, because that's why I want to clarify for the... For the... Uh, for the people that are listening, 86 carat, the Spoonmaker's Diamond is what it's called. The Spoonmaker's Diamond, pear-shaped diamond in the Imperial Treasury ex exhibitions at Top Copy, I always say it wrong, Palace Museum, set in silver surrounded by a double row of 49 old mine cut diamonds. It hangs on the wall in the third room in the Imperial Treasury of the Sultan's Palace, right? I've been there, so I saw this. Now, here's what it says. The appearance of a full moon lighting a bright and shining sky amidst the scars are considered to have been commissioned either by Ali Pasha or by the Sultan Mahmud. So Ali Pasha was the Albanian guy, man. Yeah. Ali Pasha was the lion of Yanina. So that's probably why the Greeks can't stand the Albanians sometimes because they had an Albanian governor and that controlled that whole area. So yeah, his diamonds. So they believe that when he defected from the Turks, they chopped his head off, they took his fucking diamond. Huh.